Hi everybody. Welcome back to History Hunting Highlights with Lainey. In today's video, we will be talking about Jimmy Lee Jackson. Jimmy Lee was born December the 16th, 1938. He was African American, a veteran, but the family states that they don't recall him being a veteran. But the research that I uh, did on him said that he was a veteran. So I'm not sure, maybe he was a vet vet veteran, maybe he was not a veteran. He was also a deacon at St. James Baptist Church and he was a civil rights activist. Jimmy Lee's dad died when he was 18 years old. So Jimmy Lee had to take over and manage the family farm once his dad died. Jimmy Lee, his mother, and his 82-year-old grandfather attempted for four years to vote with no success. I'm not sure if you all saw the movie Selma, but there is a scene in Selma about what I'm about to say about Jimmy Lee and his death. So yes, this the, the part that I'm about to say, I'll just say it again, it's in the movie Selma, at least some of it is in the movie um, Selma. Jimmy Lee, his mother, and his 82-year-old grandfather attempted for four years to register to vote with no success. And when they heard that Dr. King, Reverend Vivian, and others from the Southern, Con Southern, I want to make sure I get it right, Southern Christian Leadership Conference was coming to town to help in the campaign to register people, primarily African American, to vote. Jimmy Lee went to see Dr. King and Dr. S Vivian and the others. About 500 marchers got together and was marching peacefully for the right, the right to vote. When they were met by state troopers who beat them with billy clubs. And if you've watched the movie Selma, you, can, you will see this scene in the movie Selma. They were beaten. The lights went out. The state troopers turned the lights out so that they could not see and beat them with billy clubs. It was 500 of them, so they ran here, they ran there, they ran everywhere. Jimmy Lee and his family ran into a cafe. The police went inside the cafe and they struck Jimmy Lee with the club. And being a great mother, Jimmy Lee's mother attempted to pull them off of her son. They went from beating Jimmy Lee to beating his mother. Just like a great son would see someone doing something so devastating to his mother, he attempted to pull them off of his mother. And in the process, he was shot twice in the abdomen. He managed to pull himself up and go outside. And as he went outside, he was beat again by state troopers with billy clubs, where he collapsed right in front of the bus station and was transported to the hospital. This beating and the lights turning off, the clubbing, all stem from a young civil rights activist was locked up in jail. And as those peaceful marchers walked arm in arm and sung all Negro spirituals, 
The state troopers said they thought they were going to start a riot to try to break out the civil rights activists that was in jail. And that is why they did what they did to the black community in Miriam, Alabama. At this police riot, a NBC News caster was beaten so bad that he had to be taken to the hospital. Other media personnel were there and the police beat their cameras so severely that they could not record the events of that horrific night. Jimmy Lee told his attorney that he was shot twice in the abdomen and clubbed after he got outside of Max Cafe fighting for his life. He did manage to tell his attorney what had happened to him before his death. Jimmy Lee was lying there, dying in the hospital. And the police put out an arrest warrant on a man that was dying and brutally attacked. The same authority that was sworn to serve and protect. Hmm. In 2005, state trooper James Bauer admitted to shooting Jimmy Lee twice in the abdomen. He said, as they always say, it was self-defense. And he believed that Jimmy Lee had a gun on him and was going for his gun. 1965, 2021. It's the same thing. They're saying the same thing. The exact same thing. In 2010, that same state trooper pleaded guilty to manslaughter and only served six months. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six months in jail for killing Jimmy Lee Jackson in 1965. The death of Jimmy Lee Jackson inspired the movement of the march from Selma to the Capitol, Montgomery, and the Voting Rights Act was part of the march. Jimmy Lee did not live to see the fruits of his labor, but we did get Voting Rights Act. So there you have it, a little bit of emotional history regarding the life of Jimmy Lee Jackson. Let me know where you all are from. If you're from the United States, let me know where you're from. I just want to know where you all are from. Be well, stay safe, and stay at peace, not pieces. Hit that bell. I don't have the bell with me today. Hit that bell. Ding, 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 ding. So you will know every time I upload a video.